You know, right from the bat, Matt um, was always a humble person. But you could see that there was a lot of passion in Matt. And you could always see passion for business, passion for his family and his friends, and passion for the community. He's a local Detroit boy, grew up on the east side of Detroit, still very close to his friends that he grew up with. Never had a bad memory as a child of growing up in the area. And because of that, he's developed this extreme passion uh, for the community and doing things to, to better the community. I mean, the first time I met him at one of our fundraising events, and I was just so charmed by him because the next thing you know, he gets up, gets out on the stage and starts really promoting it, you know, with all that personality of his, you know, and I thought, oh my God, you know, it was really, it was really wonderful. Matt's a pretty driven guy, so uh, when he has an idea, he's not shy about it. And uh, when it came to the Brennan pool, uh, not only did he make the donation, but he managed the construction uh, so that the pool got open for the summer. And that's what you'll find in Matt. He just doesn't want to uh, play around the edges. He wants to get in and make those improvements quickly and, and uh, effectively. He's very good about uh, giving me ideas. He's very good about calling me when he doesn't think the city bureaucracy is moving fast enough. It's a very personal commitment on his part and one that's deeply appreciated by the children of Detroit. He said, you know, I just love the dance at the Opera House. I said, really? I said, yeah, he said, yeah, I just love it. The Opera House is so dependent on support, on contributions. It's very special to have somebody who, you know, who's president of a major corporation that understands the significance of the cultural life for a city. And Matt does that in spades. He's brought the corporation down into the city. I mean, that's such a testament to his passion for Detroit. It's great to have Lear uh, with their presence in the city. Of course, uh, Matt accomplished something nobody else has been able to do. He got Dan Gilbert to sell him a building uh, and open the Innovation Center. And so now uh, they've created a pipeline from the students from the College for Creative Studies and Wayne State University uh, directly into the Innovation Center at Lear. Uh, in downtown Detroit, and we're really pleased to have Lear's presence back in the city. But he's saying, you know, I want Lear to be in Detroit, to be a part of uh, the life of this city. I mean, that's such a testament to how he feels about our city. Matt Simoncini has done everything from the heart. Uh, and on a number of occasions, he's called me up uh, with ideas on things that he wants to do, initiatives we should be doing. Uh, he's just a, a great champion for the city of Detroit, and we're lucky to have him. Matt had a tremendous amount of emotion and passion in anything he did. And so my mentoring probably was sometimes just tempering some of that passion. Because he brings that energy and that warmth to everything. And that's a, that's a great friend to have. <laughs>